Hi, I'm Luke Lango, and this is Investor Place Quick Picks, where we communicate to you some of the market's best investment ideas in just five minutes. Today, we're going to be talking about a red hot electric vehicle stock named Tesla, ticker TSLA. That has been so hot for so long that it has attracted its fair share of bears, pundits, and critics saying, this is a bubble buyer beware. But guess what? Those people have been dead wrong on the name for the past 12, 24, 36 months, and they'll continue to be dead wrong on the name for the next 12, 24, 36 months, so long as they remain bearish. Because guess what, folks? The bear thesis on Tesla does not hold any water. A core tenet of the bear thesis on Tesla is that the growth narrative peaked. Bears like to say revenues and uh, car deliveries peaked in the fourth quarter of 2018. Technically, they peaked in 4Q19. There was some growth there, but it was small enough that I'll give it to the bears. Let's say deliveries and revenues did peak in the fourth quarter of 2018. But you can't say that without context. That context being one, 2019 was an awful year for the automobile market. Okay, you had the US-China trade war, governments came in and cut subsidies, you had a cyclical slowdown in consumer spending, especially on big ticket items. Okay, so that happened. Two, 2020, COVID-19 comes in and kills automobile demand for the first half of the year. And three, also because of COVID-19, Tesla's core Fremont factory was shut down for several months. So against that horrible backdrop, you would expect Tesla's deliveries and revenues to fall off a cliff like they have at every other automobile manufacturer in the world. But no, Tesla's revenues are stable and actually growing slightly. That's impressive, that's insanely impressive. It speaks to how robust the underlying demand is for electric vehicles. That even in the worst market possible for automobiles, Tesla is still selling a ton of cars. Another key component of the bear thesis, rather, on Tesla is that competition is going to kill the company. But guess what? Over the past several years, the EV space has only grown more competitive. And Tesla's market share, mostly thanks to the Model 3 rollout, the successful Model 3 rollout, has increased from 8% in 2017 to 12% in 2018 to 16% in 2019 to what projects to be about 17 to 18% in 2020. So yes, EV competition is rising, but they're not putting a dent in Tesla's market share. Rather, Tesla's market share is growing, expanding rapidly from 8% to 18%. This speaks to the fact that Tesla is head and shoulders above everybody else in this space to a point where this company has high visibility to dominant market share positioning in the EV market for several years to come. The last big component of the bear thesis on Tesla is profitability. Bears argue that Tesla is structurally unprofitable. That is factually incorrect. Tesla's automotive gross margins are at 25%. Ford and GM operate at 10 to 15% gross margins, so 10 to 15 points lower, and those companies are profitable. At the same time, Ford and GM spend an arm and a leg on marketing and advertising. Think of all the TV ads you see for their cars. Tesla spends zero dollars on that stuff. The cars sell themselves. So you have an automobile manufacturer that's got gross margins 10 to 15 points higher than traditional profitable automobile manufacturers with zero dollars allocated towards marketing and advertising. How does that not add up to an enormously profitable company at scale? Spoiler alert, it does. Big picture, the bear thesis on Tesla holds zero water. I repeat, it holds zero water. Don't listen to them. They're short sellers trying to drive the stock down. Instead, pay attention to the fundamentals. A leader in the next generation EV category, a leader in the next generation solar category, a leader in autonomous driving. How could you not own this stock? 
You want to, you should. Don't chase it, buy it on dips. Let the fundamental growth trends drive this one way higher over the next five, 10, 15 years. Well, that's all we have for this edition of Quick Picks. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, remember to subscribe and the notification bell, smash the like button. And if you want, come visit us over to InvestorPlace.com where we have some of the market's best analysis. Until next time, cheers and happy investing to all.